There's a video out there by Soldier of the Cross 837. The video is called Jew Rabbi Schriffen Mistakenly Says the Truth, a Freudian slip lol. It's a good thing this video's title specifies that he's a Jew, because when I heard that he was a rabbi, I assumed that he must have been my Scientologist or something. Cross Warrior, er, Soldier of the Cross 837, he is like fighting against the evils of the world which are embodied in international Jewry. Dum dum dum. And he sh provides this video of this rabbi who apparently lets it slip out that Jews are evil, I guess, or something. There's no racism here. Just walk a mile down the street to the nearest synagogue and you'll find it there! Synagogue, excuse me, mosque! Now, if you were a simple-minded fool, you might say, well, he's a rabbi. He's used to saying the word synagogue, not mosque. So when he had to mention the name of a place of religious gathering, he automatically said synagogue rather than mosque, and it doesn't really mean anything at all. Well, Warrior of the Cross 837 knows better than you. He knows that that's a Freudian slip. A Freudian slip, you'll remember, is when uh, you accidentally say the truth. You think that you're making a mistake. You think you're making a slip of the tongue. But actually, your subconscious is forcing what you really mean and what you really believe up to the forefront. And, and that's what a Freudian slip is. And that's, that's what's happening here. So this rabbi actually wanted to tell a, a large crowd of supporters that synagogues are full of racism. And his subconscious like forced that to the surface. It, it forced him to say that and reveal to the world that, in fact the Jews caused 9-11 or something. I haven't watched any other of Warrior of the Cross through 7's video, so I'm not really sure what particular brand of Protocols of the Elders of Zion style anti-Semitic nonsense he happens to subscribe to, but I don't know, something in that vicinity. But here's the important thing. I've seen through you, Warrior of the Cross through 7, I know that you're actually on the side of the international Zionist conspirators too, because notice something. You have used the idea of a Freudian slip. Well, who was Freud again? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was a Jew, wasn't he? Come to think of it. Hmm. So basically, gunman of the XTHX1138, or whatever your name is, you have basically admitted that you believe that a Jewish theory accurately describes human psychology and human behavior. Are you actually in league with the international cabal of the Kabbalists, mercenary of the T-shaped 90210? I see through your lies. Hey, 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 conspiracy theorists, you see how easy this is to do? See how easy it is to make really tenuous connections and then to pass them off authoritatively and make it sound like you've found some kind of hidden Gnostic wisdom that the world needs to hear? Yeah, see how easy it is to fake that? You call yourself a warrior of the cross. Well, according to Ephesians 6.14, the first piece of armor that a Christian warrior should take on is the belt of truth. And I'm not seeing that. If you're going to saddle up with that, well, let me tell you, one of the first things you're going to have to take the strap to are these kind of nonsensical, poorly substantiated, and racist conspiracy theories. Thou shalt not bear false witness. And the cause of Christ really suffers every time the gospel, or something approximating it, is presented joined at the hip with some kind of ridiculous claim about the state of world affairs that is e takes five minutes of Googling to debunk. Stop dishonoring the name of our Lord. Take care.